Hi, Dr. Porter. Thanks for joining us today. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Thank you, Jasleen. My name is Dr. Lisa Porter. I'm a professor of biomedical sciences and the executive director of WeSpark Health Institute. What role does vaccination play in the fight against COVID? Yeah, vaccination is what's going to strengthen our immunity as a, as a whole, a population. It is what we need to do in order to get through COVID-19. What role has vaccination played in the past in the fight against diseases? Vaccination started back in the 1950s with Jonas Salk, uh, which really has led to us not having polio, right? That was the first vaccination. And we know that many, many different diseases, smallpox, things that have been completely eradicated because of vaccination. Can you tell us how vaccines work? Vaccines give your body a tiny little message. It's not the actual virus. It's a tiny little message that allows your body to build immunity. And then that message is gone, but the immunity will last forever. Or sometimes you need to get a booster to just remind your body about that, that particular virus. Pfizer and Moderna are what we call mRNA vaccines. So this is a little tiny message that is just a few codes, basically letters, that are assembled to allow your body to recognize a piece of the COVID virus. The um, uh, AstraZeneca, for example, or Janssen, are what we call adenovirus vaccines. So these are a little bit longer of a message, and it actually resembles a little bit more of the, um, the virus. However, neither one of these are the actual virus. You can't get COVID-19 from a vaccine. Because of the foundation of science, we actually had a mountain of information that told us how to make vaccines. We've been making vaccines for literally centuries now. So we were able to take that information and actually build off of SARS, which happened back in 2002, if people remember the SARS virus. This virus actually looks very much like SARS. So it enabled us really after the um, people in China started getting different symptoms. Within two weeks, we were able to sequence the SARS-CoV-2 uh, genome, and that allowed us just to plug that information into a pipeline of science and allow us to really move things forward at a rapid rate. Why should people trust science? What backs that up? The science behind this vaccine has been tested on literally millions of people now. This, the clinical trials occurred in tens of thousands of people in many different countries around the world using what we call double-blind randomized trials. So the science is sound. You're hearing about um, sort of causal effects by random one-off um, you know, sort of consequences and things that you're just hearing in social media. But in reality, the science, when it's done properly, is how we have to actually test these vaccines. And this has shown us that these vaccines are both efficacy, so they have efficacy, so they'll keep you protected against COVID-19, and they're safe. How are COVID-19 vaccines produced so quickly? You know, one of the, the things that takes the longest about science is A, getting through regulatory red tape, getting the proper money behind it, and also getting the numbers of patients that we need onto those trials. COVID-19, basically, governments opened the doors so that regulatory red tape was gone. They poured resources behind moving this forward. And we had so many people infected that there, the numbers of people on trials were very easy to get. So all of the things that typically hold science back were actually you know, released because of COVID, because of the, the sheer you know, support that we had behind moving these vaccines forward. That's why we have the vaccines in hand now. In Canada, our Health Canada approvals of these vaccines had to go through the exact same stages as they would in any other type of medical device or um, any other type of vaccine, for example. And this is true in other countries around the world as well, where these vaccines have actually passed through all of the necessary processes to be approved uh, worldwide. How does an increase in vaccination rates help bring us back to normal? Yeah, so for every person that gets infected with COVID-19, for example, you're able to spread it to one or two other people. And if one of those two people is vaccinated, the, the road stops there. So this is what we call herd immunity, where in fact, if you had an infected individual, if all the people around that person have the vaccination, that virus can't go anywhere. So this is what we want, is we need a certain number of people to be vaccinated so that we can stop COVID-19 in its tracks. There are people in our community that have um, a very poor immune system. So these people are not going to be able to mount a proper immunity when getting the vaccine. 
It's these people that we have to protect. This happens to everybody when you age, your immune system goes down. And so by you getting vaccinated and stopping the virus from passing through you, you're protecting somebody who's vulnerable to that virus. What are some side effects that people may experience? Yeah, so side effects to vaccination could happen because of two things, really. You could be allergic to something in the vaccine. And the things in the vaccines, though, are really, there's things like lipids and sugars that keep that vaccine so that it can't get any type of uh, contamination, basically. Um, but those people that have allergies to the components in the vaccine are, are very, very, very rare. Um, and in fact, in clinical trials, that's below statistical numbers. So people getting a placebo, for example, which is just basically sugar water, have the exact same a number of side effects. So, um, you know, when we do this in a scientific method, uh, this actually is, you know, statistically, there, there is no true uh, risk. Because this is what we call a novel virus, it means that your body has never seen anything like it before. So the vaccine tricks your body into thinking that you have the virus. So your body will mount an immune response, just like you actually have a cold, but it's doing it in a safe way. It's almost like training for a marathon and you're gonna go out for a run the day before. Your muscles might be a little bit sore, but it's going to build you up so that when you actually run that marathon, you're able to do it. The vaccine actually tricks your body into thinking that you have the virus. So without actually causing all those harmful effects to your cells. You know, the potential of just having some mild symptoms because your body is building up that immunity versus actually dying of COVID-19. If enough people are getting vaccinated, why do I have to? One of the things we know about COVID-19 is that it actually can spread very rapidly among young people. And you might not experience any symptoms, but the danger of this is A, you could pass it to somebody who will experience severe symptoms or even death, or you can allow the virus to change and, and produce new variants. And the more variants that get produced, that virus could potentially become you know, resistant to the vaccines that we have in hand, starting us back from square one. So the very thing we do not want to do is to allow this virus to continue to pass along to, from person to person. So even if you won't be affected, you're, by getting vaccinated, you're protecting all of us from having to go back to square one. Where can we get the real facts about vaccines? Look to scientific organizations. For example, here at, in, in the Windsor-Essex region, um, I invite you to go to WeSpark, which is www.wespark.com, and we have COVID resources on there uh, so that you can take a look. Also our public health agencies, um, and so the Windsor-Essex Public Health Unit um, is one great resource that always has up-to-date links. Thank you, Dr. Porter. Remember everyone, do your part and take a jab. Thank you, Jasleen. These have been tremendous questions. And to the entire U Windsor community, we invite you to get into the ring with us scientists and take the jab and knock out COVID-19.